Hi everyone, I'm going to take a look into what's going on between um, the karmic and the DM and also take a look into what's going on with your connection with um, him or her or her as well. Um, I know when we last checked in, I think it was like two or three weeks ago when I did one of these readings, I was picking up the energy that there was um, explosive fights, maybe cheating, uh, just really intense arguments, um, deception. The masculine seemed like he had had his heart broken by the karmic. And, you know, it, it kind of forced him out of complacency. It forced him to realize that this might not be the connection he thought it was. You know, he tried to live this comfortable, normal life. And that energy kind of pushed him out of that and made him realize it's, it's not going to happen with the karmic. You know, he's not going to have what... He's not going to be able to find the connection he has with you with the karmic, basically. You know, he's not going to be able to just bury his head in the sand and pretend like everything is okay anymore. There was a major shakeup, either cheating or just uh, hurtful, extremely hurtful, hurtful words being said. Just some type of explosion that happened, I feel, within the last month or two, probably most likely the last month, I would say. Um, that just really shifted things between them, I feel. And, and there's no going back to, to how it used to be. There's no going back to just being that comfortable, familiar pattern. And, you know, he he might try to hang on to the familiar a little bit, but I think that he knows that... I think that he understands now that, you know, they he can't get back what he lost with her. That is, it's not... He can't just ignore the red flags and just pretend like everything's okay anymore you know what I mean it just something just happened that it's just like he feels hurt but he he it, it was necessary to push him forward otherwise he would probably just stay stuck in that on that merry-go-round cycle for you know god knows how many months or even years so um and then the past couple of days I also feel with the dark moon that just came in there's like this very spiritual creative energy and i feel like your masculine's third eye is probably opening right now you guys might be having um telepathic you know this telepathic connection you guys might be communicating um sexually there's a lot of sexual energy as well there might be you know telepathic sexual thoughts um you know, showing up in each other's dreams, just that kind of energy. And we also have the energy of breakthrough uh, that came in with this dark moon, just, you know, truth being revealed. So there's there's more of that energy, but let's take a look and, and see what we can get, see what's going on. So I just created this deck recently, which is specifically for astral realm work, and it should tell us quite a bit. All right, so I'm going to first take a look into what's going on um, with the karmic relationship, like what, what's going on with that connection. And then after that, I'm going to take a look into what it means for your connection with him or her, however it plays out for you. All right, so please, Spirit, show me first. First, show me um, the connection between the karmic and the DM. Show me what is going on with that connection. What do we need to know? What do the viewers need to know about what's going on with that connection? What do we need to know about the connection right now between the karmic and the DM? What's that looking like for them right now? Sexual energy, sex magic, telepathic thoughts, telepathic sexual thoughts, deception, mutual dream. See, yeah, we have that energy that I was just talking about. That's interesting. Summon. So I think basically, because I asked about the karmic, but it's basically saying there's there's nothing, there's not much going on there. It's kind of like here, here, here you are, and then here she is with deception, and he's trying to in the astral realm, like on a telepathic level, he's much more focused on you than he is on this other connection. Let's see, spiritual aid, astral realm, banish. All right.
See, that is what I was getting here, is, is it's sexual energy. It's um, sex magic. If you're doing sex magic, it's working. Um, but it's also just telepathic sexual thoughts, like th thinking about each other, even if you're not in the same room, but thinking about each other at the same time. Um, and then we have with the karmic here, deception. This is lies, gossip, rumors, um, negative intentions, um, dark magic, you know, even, even like black magic or lower realm influences. But... Um, Mostly this is just what we talked about before, that like deception, you know, he knows that his path isn't with her anymore. He knows that that's not what he wants anymore. He knows that whatever she just did to betray him, he knows that, she, that he can't really fully forgive her for that. He can't go back to how it used to be. And you guys are, are telepathically communicating through your dreams a lot right now too. And I think that you are showing up in his dreams and I do feel like he's, he's setting the intention to... You know, he wants a stronger and deeper love than what he has with the karmic. He wants something different. He's he's kind of tired of this pattern that he has, and he's trying to call it to him. He's trying to he's trying to you know it says right here it says take the next step, uh, seek out what you love, and that's what he's trying to do right now. He's trying to summon you. He's trying to maybe work up the courage to text you or call you or talk to you if it's been a while since you guys have talked. He might have some issues with that. He just doesn't know what to say because it's been so long. And, you know, if he's not fully, if he's still living with the karmic or, like, he's still seeing her and he hasn't fully let go and it's like he knows that he doesn't, he knows if he came in and talked to you, he couldn't just say, oh, yeah, sorry, I'm still with her. You know what I mean? Like, he, he knows that he has to present a better offer than that. But I do think that he's he's seeking out his guides. I think that his guides are connecting with him more, and he's seeking their support more. It might be like on a telepathic level that his guides are starting to become more conscious to him. He's starting to be aware of the protection and love and support that he has around him. Um, and this could also mean, so this, this card also means stones and crystals. So if you're meditating with stones or crystals, or he does, then there's, um, it's, significant this also means sigil magic this could also mean like a talisman or some kind of sentimental treatment that you gave him like if you gave him a piece of jewelry or you gave him some kind of present or he gave you some kind of present it's just saying that there's a, that, that present that energy exchange it holds um whether whether he gave it to you or you gave it to him there's something there there's something to that it holds a lot of power and that's something that you can use to summon him to you or that he might be using to summon you. It's something that reminds him of you. But, you know, this energy, he's, he's noticing the synchronicities now too with this card, Astral Realm card. He's, he's noticing the divine nature of this connection, I feel. He's becoming more aware that this, that, you know, the connection that, you, that he has with you, he's not going to find it with somebody else. I think in the past, he kind of like looked around for it. Like he kind of wanted to see what else was out there and I think that he's just realizing that even though that kind of depth and vulnerability scares him he knows he's not going to find that with somebody else and he's starting to yeah he's starting to pay attention to the synchronicity but this is still going on astrally so it's like you guys are connecting in the astral planes um that there is that very deep spiritual connection but even though it hasn't fully manifested physically yet but he is wanting to you know let go of the the karmic he wants to banish that energy and he wants to bring new energy into his life, finally. I must feel like this new moon energy that we're still, or this, this recent dark moon that we were in, I must feel like we, we need to, if you're doing witchcraft, you know, you need to harness that energy um, because the, the current energy is that of breakthrough. So if you don't, you don't necessarily have to do witchcraft, you can just meditate, um, just set your intention. You know, when you, when you try to call something to you, try to word it as if you have it in the present moment. Because if you say, you know, my masculine is going to come back eventually or he's, he's someday he'll come back, then you're putting it in the future. You know, you're manifesting that happening in the future and just forever being just a little bit out of reach. So you want to, when you, when you do witchcraft or meditation or whatever you do to manifest what you want in your life, um, you know, especially writing petition papers, you want to word it as if you have it in the present moment and you want to feel it as if you have it. You don't want to see it coming to you. You want to feel as if your masculine is actually there holding you. He's, he's there talking to you. He's there right in front of you. You want to word it as if, you know, like, thank you for, you know, I'm glad he's back now. I'm glad he's here with me now. You want to word it in the present moment always. So keep that in mind. Um, 
I'm going to pull some more cards just to get a little bit more clarification on what's going on with the masculine and the karmic. And then I'm going to pull some cards to get a little bit more clarification on what's going on with you guys. But yeah, the synchronicity is definitely strong right now. Um, I just sense mostly... I think he's kind of sad, I feel. It's almost like... I don't know if I would say, I feel like he's mostly over her. I mean, I feel like whatever betrayal just happened, I really feel like it kind of shifted things to where he's just, I mean, he might not be fully, he might not be fully over the heartbreak and over the betrayal, but I feel like he doesn't see her the same way that he used to see her and he can't go back. You know, like he's aware that he can't go back to how it used to be or he can't just go back to pretending like this is his person or pretending like things are okay. Like he, he has this awareness now that this isn't his true love and that he's got to decide does he want to have a life where he's just bored and stagnant and lonely even when he's not alone or does he want true love does he want the whole thing the the, the family the house the the whole picture you know he he knows he has to make that decision and he's probably seeing 11 11 right now too he's probably i don't know if he's aware of the numbers or not but i feel like he is i feel like you know there's there's strong synchronicity energy between you guys right now and a strong telepathic energy and a strong sexual energy too so the energy from him is kind of just that he's sad and bored i don't know i think it's gonna i, I think it's gonna vary for all of you i think for some of you you know your masculine has left the karmic for others it's like he's emotionally and mentally left her like he's checked out they might be living under the same roof or still seeing each other but it's like he's not really thinking about her the same way he's not viewing like his perspective is shifted he's not really viewing her the same way he's kind of like just feeling alone with her so it's like his energy has definitely shifted it's just it's gonna you know depending on what your story is it, it depends on if he's actually physically shifted away from her yet but but definitely mentally emotionally He's not really all that attached to her right now. He's kind of detached from everything. I think he's kind of um, just contemplating his life. He's just a little bit detached in general from everything. He does want to talk to you, though, I feel. I think he just doesn't know what to say because it's been so long. And he just has all these doubts and insecurities. But let's see what else we can get. What else is going on in this situation? What else is going on in this situation? self-worth, meditation, the moon. See, yeah, the, the current moon cycle is really affecting him. So we have self-worth, meditation, the moon, and deceit. See, that's what I was saying about him kind of detaching from everything. I mean, he's not, I wouldn't say he's detached from you necessarily. I think that I think that he has doubts and he's nervous and he's uncertain when it comes to you because he just doesn't know what he what you're going to say if he reaches out. And again, if this is a situation where he's kind of mentally and emotionally detached from the karmic but maybe hasn't fully healed from that betrayal or maybe like financially for some reason they still have to keep living together for a while or there's just something that's kind of keeping him stuck there for a little bit longer. Um, it's like he doesn't want to come to you and then just tell you, yeah, he's still with the karmic and he can't get out of that because he knows that you're just going to tell him off or, you know, he's worried that you wouldn't, I mean, of course you wouldn't understand. Why would you understand that? You know what I mean? He's, he's kind of just worried about that. He's like, he wants to come to you with a legit love offer, not a half-ass love offer. Um, so yeah, he's just really not sure. He or she is just really not sure what to say to you right now, but they are going inward they are meditating, they are working on their self-worth, and I think they're kind of taking their power back from the karmic. They're realizing that, you know, whatever she said or did or however she degraded him, however she cheated on him or whatever she did to, to mess up his um, self-image, self he's kind of reclaiming that from her. He's realizing that it was her, not him. He's realizing he has this pattern that he's got to break and that he wants to be free of her. Um, so, so yeah, he's very detached from her. Like, I, like I said, even if they are living under the same roof, I feel like he's kind of meditating. He's dreaming about you. He's thinking about you. He's missing you. 
Um, and he's feeling alone with her. So emotionally and mentally, he has detached from her. Uh, it's just the physical that hasn't fully aligned with that yet. It's still kind of up in the air. And I think, you know, each situation is going to be different. For some, you know, they might be stuck in that energy for a little bit. There might be some reason why he can't move away, move out, you know. It might not necessarily be love. It might be finances, like shared finances or, um, you know, societal expectations or family expectations or that kind of thing. And again, this, this moon that we just had on the, what was it, the 22nd, I think that really brought in some new energy too for him. So it's really, it's moving things along. He's, yeah, he's not, he has no delusions when it comes to the karmic. Like, I think he's made up his mind that he does not want that anymore. Um, just everything hasn't fallen into place though to get him out of that situation necessarily. I want to clarify this deceit card with the karmic. Let's clarify this deceit card. Give me some clarification on this deceit card. And then I'm going to pull some cards to look into just you and him and see what's going on there. I'll be doing your zodiac readings too later this week. Shortly. Don't worry. It's coming in a few days. Within a few days, I'll, I'll start posting them up. Deceit. Nightmares. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> nightmares sage meditation cut and clear okay so this is really great energy this is let me see this so nightmares are let's see it could be literal nightmares <laughs> you know it's kind of to me it's kind of saying she's a nightmare like she's he it, maybe she did some glamour spells on if she's into witchcraft maybe she was doing some glamour magic on him but it's like she can't anymore he saw through it. He broke those chains that were binding him to her. If she was doing like binding spells or glamour magic, it's like he broke that like spiritually, astrally, whatever she did was so fucked up that he just bro like he broke free of it. Like I see him breaking the chains astrally, telepathically. But remember, everything that happens in the astral plane, you know, it happens there first and then eventually happens in the physical world. So sometimes it takes a while for that energy to to manifest physically. But, but astrally, yeah, I see him breaking free of her. And, of course, he's conscious of that, too. I mean, he might not be fully conscious of, like, let's say that, let's say, for example, she was doing witchcraft on him. Like, he might not be conscious of that in the physical realm. But astrally, he, he's aware of it, and he broke those chains. And he, 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 that, you know, whatever that was that she was doing, I feel like it's taken off him now. I feel like he's standing up to her. Um, mostly astrally it's like he's he's starting to stand in his power astrally in the physical realm I see he's more he's sta he's starting to stand into his power in a way but it's almost like more like he's detached like they might be sleeping in separate rooms or it's like he just kind of doesn't want to cuddle with her doesn't want to touch her so much like he just kind of wants to do his own thing like he's trying to stay out of the house more um maybe sleeping a lot more because I keep seeing him like going to this bedroom and like shutting the door and like not dealing with her it's like he just kind of wants to be by himself he doesn't want to deal with her um so so yeah nightmares I feel like yeah she's like an actual nightmare like he's actually seeing her like she looks like this <laughs> um and it's it's also sleepless sleepless nights it's it's you know um, I feel like there's something with his sleep schedule, like oversleeping or undersleeping. And I feel like he's got a lot of deep regrets regarding you. Um, and this is just a, this is fear, anxiety. This is a chaotic mental state. You know, he realizes this is an unstable relationship and it's never going to be, be, you know, what he wanted it to be. Um, and it doesn't matter what society thinks or his family thinks or his friends think, or if there's, you know, some financial reason they're together or whatever it is, he's like, that's not gonna be enough for me 10 years down the road I want something else you know even if I'm not used to something else I want something else and with sage so there could be an, an air sign here but with uh the sage card this is about uncrossing so this is like you know it's it's saging it's, it's clearing something away it's like he's cleansing himself I feel like that kind of explains the isolation too where it's like her energy is so toxic that he can't really be, he can't find himself if he's around her. If she's constantly nagging or she's constantly competing with you 
or with his, you know, friends or family or whatever she's doing. It's like he can't really find himself around her. her. So he kind of has to like just detach. Um, so I do think he might be staying in his bedroom a lot. I think he might be oversleeping. Or I feel like he's he's trying to like find excuses to like be busy so that he doesn't have to deal with her. Um, and I do sense his energy is kind of low right now. It's like he's just very... Like, he really wants to heal, and it's like he's conscious that he needs to heal. It's just, you know, doing that around her is a little bit difficult if she's still nagging at him. But, you know, he is trying to do that now. He's trying to do this uncrossing work. Um, you know, basically just clearing that energy, just clearing his energy, just, um, you know, letting things go, finding himself again, basically. And then with meditation cut and, and cut and clear, see, I think he might be getting on his spiritual path. So this is peace, clarity. This is just just soul soul exploration is what the what the card says. You know, it's it's letting things just flow to you. And I do think he's doing a lot of meditating. I feel like he might actually, for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, I think that he might actually be aware. Like if you told him you have a twin flame connection or that you have a soulmate connection, or maybe you talk to him about you know, the occult or witchcraft or spirituality and psychic work and that stuff. And maybe before he was like, didn't fully believe it or he was kind of open to it, but unexperienced. I think that he's he's looking into it more now. I think he's starting to do some research. And I think he's becoming aware of your telepathic connection. Like maybe there's been times when, you know, in the past when it's like he thought of you and you called or... Uh, you know, he thinks that, you know, he, you, there's just like these synchronicities everywhere. Or he's seeing like these, these numbers everywhere, um, that remind him of you. So I think that he is actually like starting to research, you know, psychic and spiritual spirituality, basically. He's starting to look into that. And I think he's starting to meditate. I think he's starting to become aware of this, um, the telepathic connection and the telepathic sexual connection particularly. And so I think he's kind of like meditating and trying to just like, if you're like showing up in his dreams, he's kind of thinking about it. You know what I mean? He's, he's kind of just detaching from the outside world and going inward and trying to connect to you through telepathy and dreams and that kind of thing. And, um, again, cutting and clearing, the karmic you know he wants his freedom he wants to end this 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 toxic pattern he has with with family with with women with just all these toxic patterns he really wants to heal himself finally so he is doing some cut and clear work right now again this might not be like actual i'm not saying that he's actually doing witchcraft i just mean like like astrally and maybe even like physically he's kind of just starting to sever those ties he's starting to, to detach more and more from her and go inward and really figure out what he wants so frustrating with these masculines though because so many of them you know from what, what i've seen you know channeling and just watching other readers over the years it's like so many of them are so complacent so it's like you know, one day, I mean, I do feel like he is pretty much done with the karmic, but it's still like some of them hang on for a while, you know, some of them keep holding on to the karmic, even if it's over, even if they're miserable, it's just, you know, familiar and they just, you know, might not know how to talk to you. They might not know what to say. A lot of them still have fears, you know, a lot of them really do have a lot of fear when it comes to, you know, these soulmate and twin flame connections, because it's not quite what they're used to and it requires a, a different level of depth and vulnerability and honesty and openness that a lot of them just aren't um completely familiar with and so for some of them it really does take them months or even years to really get it through their head um and so i do want to remind you guys if you've been dealing with a masculine who's just doing the same shit, you know, month after month, year after year, you know, you do have other soulmates you can be happy with, you know, it's up to you, it's your story, you get to choose, um, you can always play the field and, and leave room for them, but not let, you know, just hold the space for them without waiting for them, if you know what I mean, but let's get a little bit more clarity on what's going on, so let's see, so we looked into the masculine and the karmic, 
So what's going on with your connection? Like I said, I know he's kind of afraid right now. He doesn't know what you would say. He wants to talk to you. He doesn't know how. So he's basically just, um, you know, telepathically, he's, he's kind of just dreaming about you and just going inward to connect with you right now. But let's see what else we can get. Okay. The moon. Yeah, the moon just came up again. <laughs> yeah, the moon channeling psychic awareness. So like I said, a lot of your masculines are, are becoming aware that this is a, um, a psychic spiritual connection. They're starting to finally get that through their head. They're starting to realize that you're their soulmate. Okay, let's see. So the vampirism card right here is just saying, it's just basically saying your energy, well, his energy is, has been being drained. And I think he's aware of it now, though, at least, which is a good start. Even if he's still in that situation, it's at least still a really good start that he's finally aware that she's the one draining him and he's not blaming you or blaming his parents or blaming the outside world or whoever. He's finally becoming aware it's the karmic that's draining him. It's, she's not a victim. He's the victim. You know, he's starting to get, he's starting to finally realize that this is a codependent relationship that he doesn't want. Um, with the chakras card here, this is about you should, maybe should be doing chakra work because if you're picking up on his energy and you're helping him transmute it, it can be really heavy for you. So it's reminding you that, you know, one or both of you might have blocked or under or overactive chakras. So it's important to continue to do chakra clearing and kind of set some boundaries, you know, make sure you're not taking on too much of his energy right now. So with the moon here, remember I was talking about the dark moon that we were just in. This is, you know, moon magic. So if you just did some spell work, it's successful. Um, I think that, see right here I wrote, a recent or upcoming moon cycle holds the answers and energy that you seek. So I think that this dark moon that we just recently had really shifted some things even further from him and I think that his third eye is opening I think he's becoming aware of his you know again the synchronicity and the telepathic connection between you guys he's kind of exploring that he's just detaching in the physical world and just kind of getting more um he's very active in like the astral plane right now I feel like he's very telepathically active um, he's kind of just like dreaming and living in his head a little bit more. Like he's detaching from the physical world. You know, it says channeling, you know, psychic awareness. Like he's coming into this ability finally. And again, just resting. It's like he's been running on empty. He's been overburdened. Um, maybe his schedule has been too busy. Well, I think he's also trying to keep a busy schedule because he doesn't want to be around the karmic too much. Um, but he just, he wants to retreat. He's just tired. So it's kind of just, it makes sense that he's... He is retreating. He's he's retreating inward, and he's just, you know, trying to rest and just connect with um with you, you know, path of the seer, purging, rebirth, initiation, ascension, you know, a new paradigm, rapid psychic development. That's what your masculine is is going through right now. I believe he's he has this new perspective shift. Like I said, he doesn't see the karmic the same. He knows it's never gonna go back. Like that door is closed. He's never gonna go back to to being in love with the karmic the way that he was, at least for this group that I channeled. I don't feel like he's ever going to be able to fall in love with her again. Um, so it's like this new perspective and this this rapid psychic development. Like his guides are really, like the veil has been lifted. His guides are showing him a lot right now about you and about the connection. And he's aware that, you know, his home is with you. He's aware he wants to make this offer of love and commitment to you. He knows that this is a soulmate connection or possibly a twin flame connection. You know, he knows that this love is mutual. He's just, again, scared because you guys haven't, maybe if you haven't talked for a while, he doesn't know what you'd say. And he's just kind of, I think he just needs healing right now. You know what I mean? I think after whatever he went through with the karmic, it's like he doesn't know how to put himself out there again at the moment. He's just kind of like retreating. Like he just needs a very gentle He's in a very fragile frame of mind right now. You know what I mean? So he needs this very gentle energy right now. And with subconscious here, let's see. 
So it says body language and it's something being on the brink of awareness and your mental and physical reality is influenced by your subconscious patterns and your deeply rooted beliefs. So again, I think he's doing a lot to break childhood patterns right now and, you know, patterns he has with women. Um, and I think that everything that's going on astrally, like he's on the brink of just being aware of all of that. Like it's starting to come to the surface now is what I feel. Love potions, it's push potions and oils. And love and reconciliation magic, your energy is drawing romantic love to you. So this is coming in, I feel. Um, and it's kind of saying, you know, this maybe reconciliation or road opening. It's, you know, with this new moon energy, it might be a good time for spell work. You know, keep it kind of light. I wouldn't do anything too intense because, like I said, your masculine is in a very fra uh, fragile state of mind right now. And he just really needs healing and love and support. So so take it kind of light. Go easy on him. But, but yes, he is wanting to reach out and connect. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if it resonated. And if it does resonate, please go ahead and subscribe to me. Thank you.